Hi and I welcome you to this video. Here you will learn about high availability and failover in RabbitMQ. RabbitMQ is well known for its excellent design with minimal message loss. And due to this design, RabbitMQ is widely used in many critical projects where message loss is not accepted. Apart from this minimal message loss design, RabbitMQ is also providing high availability in queues. The basic requirement to have high availability in RabbitMQ is cluster setup. So high availability can be set up only on a set of nodes which comes under the same cluster. RabbitMQ is achieving high availability by mirroring the queues across different RabbitMQ nodes in a cluster. This is the reason why you have cluster setup as a prerequisite to have high availability setup. When we declare a queue by connecting to a node in cluster, based on the attribute we pass, queue will be created in any one of the node in the cluster. The node where the queue resides is called the master node for that particular queue. Later when we set up high availability in RabbitMQ for that particular queue, the mirror queue will be created in other nodes of the cluster and the messages in the master queue is synced with the mirror queue in other nodes. Though there are mirror queues, all publish and consume requests coming to the queue will be directed only to the master queue. This will happen even if a publisher sends a request directly to the node which has mirror. Though the node has mirror, it will direct the request only to the node which has the master queue. RabbitMQ does this to maintain message integrity between master queue and mirror queues. If RabbitMQ updates messages in all queues, then syncing messages between queues will be a big deal. So at any point of time, all publish and consume requests sent to any node will be redirected to the node which has the master queue and the message will be published or consumed only from that queue. Later RabbitMQ will sync the messages in master queue with the messages in the mirror queues. To set up HA in RabbitMQ, all we have to do is create a RabbitMQ high availability policy and should apply it to appropriate queue. In high availability policy, we can control the behavior of our high availability setup. We can control the number of nodes that should have mirrors and the syncing between the master and mirror can also be controlled. Till now we have seen about high availability setup in RabbitMQ. You should also know about queue failover after the high availability setup. When a mirror queue is promoted as a master queue to receive all publish and consume requests, then we call it as a queue promotion. Queue promotion can be triggered either through RabbitMQ or through the setting by administrator. RabbitMQ will promote a mirror queue as master queue only when the current master queue becomes inaccessible. When the current master queue node goes down, obviously master queue won't be accessible. So RabbitMQ will promote one of the mirror queue to master queue. And from that point of time, all requests will be directed only to the new master queue. To maintain message integrity, for promotion RabbitMQ will pick the mirror queue node which is in perfect sync with master queue. Now we have seen about high availability and failover in RabbitMQ. But to fully understand about in-depth concepts of RabbitMQ, you need practical sessions with demos. I have published a course in RabbitMQ message brokers at a very minimal price in Udemy e-learning platform. And I have pasted the course link in description of this video. And this course covers each and every topic in RabbitMQ with full practical sessions. And on completing this course, you will be ready to work on RabbitMQ without any difficulty. On clicking the link in description of this video, you will be landing in my course page. And on scrolling down, you will see more details about my course. And you can also watch my course preview videos for free. I am giving this course at a very minimal price for a limited duration of time. I believe you had a good introduction on high availability and failover in RabbitMQ. And thanks for watching this video. 